Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue our Spring Boot GraphQL series. In the last one, we have seen the mutation mapping. Okay, in which we have created a controller where we have inserted the data. Okay, we have created the API for inserting the data. Now, in this one, we will discuss about how to update the movie data and how to delete the movie data. Okay, so two things we will see. So, coming to the movie service class, we will create another method public movie and our name will be update movie. Here, we have to update the movie. So, of course, we will uh, require the movie in object. Okay, so we will require this movie input object. That is very obvious because the movie input object will provide the updated object that we want to uh, insert in or that we want to update in our database. But we have to update the existing movie. And if you come to the movie class, here we have seen that to every movie has one unique attribute through which every movie object in the database is recognized okay and that is id okay so we would require the two parameters so first one would be integer id and second one would be movie input now first once we are getting the id okay you provided one id to the you provided the id now you need to check whether the given id is valid or not so we will first find the movie object so uh, we will fire the query movie repository dot find by id so find by id is given by the jpa okay and here we have to pass the id also in case we didn't find the id we can say or else and we will throw an exception so what type of exception will throw so it takes a supplier type object so and in supplier type it takes a supplier object don't take any argument but it returns something so we will return new runtime exception object okay since it's happening at runtime so we will return runtime exception and a message we will provide that movie with given id not exist okay so this is our code so throw the exception once we have got the movie object okay we need to update this movie object okay so this movie object which we are getting here is we are getting from the database right if a movie object exists in the database this find by id will give you the movie object and if it doesn't exist the method will throw the exception so we are getting the movie object in case we get the movie object we have to update this movie object so we have to write movie dot set uh, we don't have to set id actually because id should remain the same okay we, uh, we will not set the id because it is a unique identifier we will set all the other fields that we want okay so we will set title so it will be it, it would be movie input dot title okay so we have set all the things here so here we have set one two three four five fields and we can see here if we come to the movie entity then except id we also have five fields here one two three four five so all fields are set up now what exactly we are doing is the update that we want to give we are passing in this movie input field and we are using the data that we are getting from the input field by the user to update the data of the existing uh, movie object that we are getting from the database right and simply we have to return and call movie dot or in fact uh, we have to call movie repository dot save and we have to pass the object okay it's as simple as that so this is an update movie handler so let's create an api for this so again it is a mutation mapping since it in it doesn't involves querying of data it involves changing of data our data is getting changed so we will use mutation mapping and we will say update movie handler okay and we will have an argument which will have first argument will be integer id and we will have another argument which will be movie input right now we will return simply movie service dot update movie and we will pass and we will pass id comma movie input and that's it now we have to also update here in the schema so we will copy this method name here and in the mutation we will add the uh, add the method name here 
so to map it to the graphql and then we have to pass first is id okay so this id is of type int or you can say it is of id compulsory okay and then we have movie input movie input okay and it will return a movie object so we have done everything we have created a method in service class where we are defining the logic in controller we are handling the uh, mutation mapping which is uh, the name of the mutation mapping is update movie handler and we are mapping it to the graphql schema of type mutation okay so till now we had these objects so if you see if i run the query again we will have currently the two data that last time we created these two movies we have so we will update one of the movies and we will see if the data correctly reflects here okay let's rerun the application okay so our application is restarted now what we have to do is simply first we have to reload the page uh, we can't have both on same side so this is done here now we have to write mutation and have to pass a method update movie handler here we have to first mention the id so the id we have is one so if you uh, before doing this let's comment it out let's fire this query so we get all the movies so let's update this one okay uh, i'll just mark everything here and let's fire again so we have got all the data from the database now let's comment it again so the movie object that we want to update is this one with id one okay here we will update it what we are going to do is we have to pass a movie input object so first is title so let's keep the title same or let's make it infinity war okay so we have changed the title now we will change uh, the studio will remain of course the same we can't change the studio so we will keep it marvel studios only then we have to uh director will also be same but rather than writing Russo brothers we will write joe and anthony Russo. okay so change in director also and we will change the movie cast also a bit so let's change the movie cast rdj chris evans josh brolin and let's put chris hemsworth and of course uh, release year will also be changed to 2018 so this we have changed now this is done we have to put another bracket and now we will get all the things so id title studio director movie cast release year okay all the things we will need so let's see if this works or not so now if we execute the query you can see we have updated it now to check whether in the database uh, if another uh, if that is completely reflected or not we can check our database also but uh, let's fire the let's fire the query mapping so as you can see here we have successfully changed the data of the id1 object in the database now what we have to do is let's again uncomment it out and i would try to change i would keep the data same but i would instead of id10 uh, id1 we will keep id10 and let's fire the query now now if i fire now we, you see there is a message internal error okay and update movie handler null all these exceptions are there and if you see the here also we have got the exception so a runtime exception has been thrown with the message movie with given id not exist that was our message now how to actually handle this message in a proper way we will see in the next video but in this video our purpose is to create the apis for to create the endpoints for or you can say mapping for delete and update of the data so our next goal is for delete so in delete we will pass us simply a string because we don't want to pass an object we want to pass a string a message so delete movie in this simply we have to pass an integer id we just have to pass an integer id and simply just copy paste this code okay reuse this one here so this code will give us the movie object by id okay so if the id passed is correct then we will get the movie object and we can directly delete the movie object if the id passed is uh, not valid then it will again throw the runtime exception as we have seen right now and we will call this dot movie repository dot delete and we will pass the movie object and we will return movie deleted with id id 
Okay, uh, in the same way, we have to create another mutation mapping. So, mutation mapping, the return type will be string. Here will be delete movie handler and add argument integer id. Simply, we have to return movie service dot delete movie. Just and to map to GraphQL schema, just delete movie handler here and in the place of it just paste it here pass the id okay and it will return a string so it's as simple as that so to check out whether this is working or not first rerun the application so our application is up and running we will create another mutation okay and let's uh, um, comment it out and i will say delete okay so we need to first refresh the page then we will say delete movie handler remember that whenever you restart the server and we you come to here this graphic will you need to reload the page so that it can detect the updated schema okay so this graphic ql checks this schema dot graphqls file whatever update you do here so after restarting the server to get those changes reflected here also you need to reload the page so remember that so we will pass id now i don't want to delete all the the movies that we have added right now so what i will do is I will simply uncomment it, comment it out, and rather than update movie handler, I will write add movie handler. Okay, I'll remove this ID. I will just make everything as test one. Year can be 2020. Fine. No movie released in 2020 because of Corona. No major movies. So just let's <laughs> mark 2020 and let's see if our add movie handler is also working perfectly. So if I execute it. A movie with ID 3 is there and if you see now we have got three movies here so let's delete this third movie so if i try to delete the third movie so i have to comment it out also here the return type is string okay uh, you don't have to return any object so you don't have to mention anything also it will return you directly in case of here the return type was an op movie object so we were defining the fields so it worked here but here since it is just a string which is a custom string that we are pa passing so no need to uh, write here anything okay because the return type is fixed so if we execute the query the delete movie handler says movie deleted with id3 to verify it execute the query and we have seen that the movie has gone now if you try to again delete a movie with id3 and if you run the query you'll get a runtime exception as expected so this is a runtime exception that we have got and it says movie with given id not exist so this is perfect so i hope you have understood the update movie and delete movie how we have to do it all right there are more things to go like we can have a method which can get one movie okay so like a method we have created get all movies we can have get one movie so we can pass an id we can query just one movie based given on the id Okay, so you, you can try to create a method on your own that will take a movie ID that will find the, a movie with the given ID and it will return an, a movie object. Okay, so that's for your practice, for your learning. You can create and you can create more methods, whatever if you want any customized method based on maybe movie name, you can do it. We will also explore those methods a bit later. But in the next video, we are going to see the exception handling in the GraphQL APIs. Now this runtime exception is a very generalized exception. Okay, we will create our own custom exception. And uh, currently, if you see, we are getting so big uh, stack press here. So we don't want this thing to come here. Also, if you see here in the GraphQL, then we can see that the message that it is giving is not we are not able to understand okay that what exactly the error is okay so we need to customize the message so that whatever message error message we receive is in a proper format these long stack traces don't come we only want this single message to understand what exception has what is the case of the exception or what is the cause of the exception okay in the next video we will see about we will see the exception handling in GraphQL APIs. I hope you have understood this update movie and delete movie APIs. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.